Hi, this is Susan from Dry Hollow Homestead. I'm here tonight to show you how to make jalapeno cheddar poppers. First, we're going to start with eight ounces of cream cheese, and we're just going to put that in this bowl. And then we're going to add one cup of cheddar shredded cheese. I'm just gonna add that in there. And then one half teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna sprinkle that in there. And then we're going to microwave this for 45 seconds. And uh, I like to cover my bowl just because I don't like to splatter in my microwave. Okay, let's stick this in the microwave for 45 seconds. I believe this is ready now. Let's check it. Now we're just going to mix this. That should be good. So let's set this to the side for now. We're going to cut the end of the jalapeno. Just like that. And we're going to take our core. And the membrane you'll notice has three sometimes and sometimes four areas where it's attached. And you just push this in to each of those tough areas. And if you like your jalapeno cheddar peppers hot, then you will leave uh, some of the core in. But my husband and I actually like ours very mild. So I try to remove just as much of this as I can. Then you wanna twist your core. And when you pull it out, that's what should come out. Now you'll notice there are a few seeds left in there, but that's why you wash these when you're done. And we're gonna scrape it one more time to make sure I get as much out of there as I can. Like I say, we like ours mild. And you can see in there really well now. And once that's done, then you're prepared to start washing the jalapenos to get ready to start stuffing. Now I'm rinsing the peppers, getting them prepared. Now we're going to spray our pan with some olive oil. Spray our pan with olive oil, which I just did. And now you're ready to stuff your peppers. I prefer using a butter knife um, because you can get the cheese down in there better. And you're just going to stuff this to it is uh, level with the top of the pepper. And just work it a little bit there. And once it is full, you stop at that point and just lay this on your pan to be baked. We're going to put them in a 450 degree preheated oven for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and it looks like these peppers are done. We're going to get them out of there. This is what they should look like. They are browned. And we cooked ours 15 minutes, like I said, at 425, at 450, but depends on how big your peppers are and how your oven works. Okay, now we've let these peppers cool for just a few minutes. 
that we're going to pack this cheese right back in there while it's still warm. So just kind of tap it back in like that because you want it warm so it'll go right back into the pepper. Nice like that. Now these will um, last for days refrigerated and they are great reheated in the microwave for just a few seconds.